Cross-dressing is the act of wearing clothing and accessories that are traditionally associated with the opposite gender. It can be a fun and rewarding way to express yourself, explore your identity, and unleash your creativity. However, cross-dressing can also be challenging, especially if you want to capture your feminine or masculine appearance in photos. Before you start taking cross-dressing photos, you need to do some preparation to ensure that you have everything you need and that you look and feel your best. Here are some steps to follow. The first step is to decide what you want to wear for your cross-dressing photos. You can choose an outfit that matches your style, personality, mood, or occasion. You can also choose accessories that complement your outfit, such as jewelry, glasses, hats, scarves, etc. Here are some tips to help you choose your outfit and accessories. Consider the season, weather, and location of your photos. You want to dress appropriately and comfortably for the environment and the temperature. Consider the color, pattern, and texture of your clothing and accessories. You want to create contrast and harmony between them, and avoid clashing or blending in with the background. Consider the fit, shape, and size of your clothing and accessories. You want to accentuate your curves or angles and hide any flaws or bulges that you don't want to show. Consider the style, theme, and mood of your photos. You want to create a consistent and coherent look that reflects your intention and message. The next step is to apply makeup and style your hair or wig for your cross-dressing photos. You can use makeup to enhance your features, create illusions, and transform your appearance. You can also use hair or wig to change your hairstyle, color, and length. Here are some tips to help you apply makeup and style your hair or wig. Start with a clean and moisturized face and hair. You want to have a smooth and hydrated base for your makeup and hair products. Use primer, foundation, concealer, powder, blush, bronzer, highlighter, contouring, eyeshadow, eyeliner, mascara, false lashes, eyebrow pencil, lip liner, lipstick, gloss, etc. to create your desired look. You can follow tutorials or guides online or experiment on your own. Use makeup brushes, sponges, applicators, tweezers, scissors, curlers, straighteners, etc. to apply and blend your makeup and hair products. You can also use tools like cotton swabs, tissues, makeup remover, etc. to correct any mistakes or smudges. Use setting spray or powder to seal your makeup and hair products. You want to make sure that they last longer and don't fade or smear. The third step is to set up your camera and lighting for your cross-dressing photos. You can use a smartphone camera or a digital camera depending on your preference and budget. You can also use natural lighting or artificial lighting depending on the availability and quality of light sources. Here are some tips to help you set up your camera and lighting. Choose a camera that has a good resolution, zoom, focus, flash, timer, etc. You want to have a clear and sharp image quality and a convenient and easy operation. Choose a lighting that is bright enough but not too harsh or dim. You want to have a balanced and flattering illumination that shows off your colors and details. Adjust the settings of your camera and lighting according to the conditions of the environment. You want to have the right exposure, white balance, ISO, aperture, shutter speed, etc. The last step is to pick a suitable background and pose for your cross-dressing photos. You can choose a background that matches or contrasts with your outfit, accessories, makeup, and hair or wig. You can also choose a pose that shows off your best angles, expressions, and gestures. Here are some tips to help you pick a suitable background and pose. Choose a background that is simple, clean, and uncluttered. You want to avoid any distractions or interruptions that might ruin your photos. Choose a pose that is comfortable, natural, and confident. You want to avoid any awkwardness or stiffness that might make you look unattractive or unnatural. After you have prepared everything for your cross-dressing photos, you are ready to start taking them. Here are some steps to follow. The first step is to use a tripod or a remote control to take your cross-dressing photos. You can use a tripod to stabilize your camera and adjust its height, angle, and distance. You can also use a remote control to trigger your camera without touching it. This way, you can avoid shaking or blurring your photos, having your hand or arm in the frame, limiting your movement or expression. The second step is to experiment with different angles and perspectives to take your cross-dressing photos. You can use different angles and perspectives to create variety, interest, and drama in your photos. You can also use them to highlight or hide certain features or aspects of yourself. Here are some tips to help you experiment with different angles and perspectives. Try different levels of height, such as high, low, or eye level. You can use a high angle to make yourself look smaller, cuter, or more submissive. 
You can use a low angle to make yourself look bigger, stronger, or more dominant. You can use an eye level angle to make yourself look normal, friendly, or relatable. Try different degrees of tilt, such as horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. You can use a horizontal tilt to make yourself look balanced, stable, or calm. You can use a vertical tilt to make yourself look dynamic, energetic, or exciting. You can use a diagonal tilt to make yourself look quirky, fun, or adventurous. Try different types of zoom, such as close-up, medium, or wide. You can use a close-up zoom to make yourself look detailed, intimate, or emotional. You can use a medium zoom to make yourself look natural, casual, or comfortable. You can use a wide zoom to make yourself look spacious, scenic, or contextual. The third step is to capture your personality and emotions in your cross-dressing photos. You can use your personality and emotions to show who you are, how you feel, and what you want to say in your photos. You can also use them to connect with your viewers and elicit their reactions and responses. Here are some tips to help you capture your personality and emotions. Use your facial expressions to convey your mood, attitude, or intention. You can use a smile to show happiness, confidence, or friendliness. You can use a frown to show sadness, anger, or seriousness. You can use a wink to show flotation, humor, or mischief. Use your body language to communicate your message, style, or character. You can use your posture to show relaxation, tension, or elegance. You can use your gestures to show action, emotion, or interaction. You can use your props to show interest, hobby, or identity. Use your voice to add sound, tone, or emotion to your photos. You can use words to add captions, quotes, or stories to your photos. You can also use sounds to add laughter, singing, or whispering to your photos. The last step is to edit your photos with software or apps for your cross-dressing photos. You can use software or apps to enhance, correct, or modify your photos. You can also use them to add effects, filters, or stickers to your photos. Here are some tips to help you edit your photos with software or apps. Use software or apps that are compatible with your device, camera, and format. You want to have a smooth and easy editing process. Use software or apps that have the features and functions that you need and want. You want to have the tools and options that suit your purpose and preference. Use software or apps that are user-friendly, intuitive, and reliable. You want to have a clear, simple, and fast editing experience. Taking cross-dressing photos can be a fun and rewarding activity that can help you express yourself, explore your identity, and unleash your creativity. However, it can also be challenging, especially if you want to capture your feminine or masculine appearance in photos. In this video, we have given you some tips on how to prepare, take, and share your cross-dressing photos. We hope that these tips will help you take cross-dressing photos that look good, feel authentic, and reflect your personality. We hope you found the information helpful. We know that being transgender can be a difficult journey, and we want to do our part to make it a little bit easier. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. It would mean the world to us. You can also support our work by joining our membership. This will help us continue to create content that is helpful and supportive for the community. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to see you next time.